Today our objective is that students will be able to define population, describe the world population growth and calculate the population density. Our vocabulary list is given here. Number one, population, that all the inhabitants of a particular town, area or country that people live in. Number two is density. All the inhabitants of a particular town, area or a country that maximum number of the people are living there. Number three is sparse. In a thinly dispersed manner, in a small number when the number of the people are there in a country. The number four is moderate and average in amount, intensity, quality or degree. So let's see why it is important to know the population of any country or a place. Population is essential for planning purpose. Any country needs to know the size and composition of its population around age and sex structure, among other factors. Knowledge about the distribution is important too, that where do people live and work. That helps to plan that how many schools, clinics, hospitals and jobs in a country needs. Let's watch this video and know the more about the population density. High density area. Okay, so just to recap, here we have our densely populated and our sparsely populated areas. Now it's important to remember that when we look at an area, it's not always going to be this small. So let's take a look at a uh, little village that I've got ready over here. Now, I've surrounded this whole village with a very, very long wall. This wall is 100 meters long either side. So the area is 100 meters squared. Let's take a little look inside. Okay, so as you can see, in this particular village, there are quite a lot of people. In fact, there's more people than there was in the red square that we had before. But, because it's a really big area, it's still actually quite sparsely populated. Okay, so, there are some things to remember. Population density is all about the number of people in an area, and it doesn't matter if that area is big or small. If all of these villages were crammed into the small red square from before, it would be very, very densely populated. But, because they have a lot of space here in this village, the area is sparsely populated, because they have more room. Okay, so here's our key definitions. You've got population density, the number of people living in an area, and that area can be big or small. You've got sparsely populated, and that means not many people are living in an area, so they all have lots of space. Finally, you've got densely populated, where lots of people are living in an area, and they are more kind of crammed into the space. The formula for population density. The formula for population density, or cal calculating the population density, is dp is equal to n by a. In this equation, dp is the density of population, while n is the total population as a number of people, and a is the land area covered by that population. a is usually expressed in a term of either square mile or square kilometer, especially when you are looking at human population. However, you could use smaller units as well. For example, if you are looking at the population density of a type of insect on a tree, you would use square feet or square meters because kilometer would be far too large. You might also use acres if you are looking at the population density of a cattle 
on an arch. So the same population density formula applies to both human and non-human population. Dear students, your assignment that you have to attempt in the notebook is that question number one is based on the provided data. Answer the following questions. Write the formula to calculate the population density. Find the population density and classify as densely moderate sparsely population. Your success criteria is that attempt neatly and carefully look for the information given in your textbook.